It's alright. Hey. Yo guys, what is up? Maximum Borderlands 3 video, and today we're going over the vending machine location for the week of January 27th. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get right into it. So this week's vending machine location is on Desolation's Edge. You're going to want to take the Desolation's Edge travel point and then go out of it, take a left, grab a vehicle, or just run over into where you fight all these Malawan troopers and you work your way up to this like Malawan bridge. And right at this like halfway point, uh, when you come through this big archway uh, here, you're going to come up these stairs and there's this big archway. Um, you'll take a right where these like little airport like stairs are and the vending machine is right on the right. This is, I think, one of the only places that the vending machine has been on Desolation's Edge. And this week's vending machine weapons are the annexed Jericho. Uh, the Jericho is not a very good weapon. You can't even kill your teammates with it anymore, but... It is very strong on Boar Explosion, uh, to be honest. Like, you can actually nuke an entire area, an entire map with it. So if you are using the Boar Explosion, uh, picking up an, a times 2 Jericho is actually a pretty good pickup. Um, next up, the Pain is Power. Uh, there's so many COV assault rifles that just do fire damage that I forget which ones do which. This is the one that auto-ignites you, right? That just, like, instantly murders you. I'm pretty sure. Is this going to kill me? I think it's going to kill me. Okay, yeah. So this weapon's terrible. Um, don't, don't, don't go buy this thing. <laughs> Genuinely one of the worst weapons in the game. Like, what is the point of insta-killing yourself with a weapon? They, I think they buffed the damage on this thing a while ago. But, like, when they did, they also buffed the self-damage. So, genuinely, as soon as you ignite it, you die. Um, I'm going to cut and then we'll go find the vending machine and do the last thing. All right, and the very last piece of gear in the vending machine. Hopefully it's good, because so far it's just a pretty duty week, is the front loader. Um, very good shield if you want to go U-Red. U-Red was nerfed. It's still very strong for alternative damage and gun damage, but it's definitely better for, like, alternative damage. For example, using it with, like, rack attack to buff up your rack attack damage or with grenade builds. Uh, but the other shield is a front loader, guys. That is it for this week. Gonna be honest, not a very good week, uh, unfortunately. But we've had a few good weeks in the past. I'll catch y'all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace. I was Yo, POV, you're a professional monster hunter and gamer. Give it a second. Give it a second. No! <laughs> that freaking moves! <laughs>